Hello everyone! When you want to create a slideshow animation in your projects, do you also create keyframes for each slide individually? Well, that's right, because not only it's time consuming, but you don't get the results you want either. Stick with me in this tutorial because I'll be talking about how to rig this slideshow professionally so we can control the whole animation with just one slider. Before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you're interested in motion graphics and after effects, don't forget to check out my Motion Hero Masterclass. As you know, to create a slideshow, I need some slides. For example, I've made six comps here that I'll be using as a slides. First thing first, I have to animate the first slide. Isolate all the slides and make them 3D. At the beginning of the timeline, I create a keyframe for its opacity and set it to 0. 10 frames forward and set it to 100. I create a keyframe for its position here. I move this keyframe forward for now. The first slide should be placed at the right side of the scene and I move it to the back a bit. I think 2000 should be enough. Yes. I move it over here. Let me enable title action save so I know where I should place it. I go 20 frames forward and move this keyframe to there. Again 20 frames ahead and I copy and paste the initial keyframe here. And I place it here by the left side of the scene. Again I create a keyframe for the opacity and after 10 frames I set it to 0. So the animation of the slide would be that at first it shows up moves forward at the center of the scene and then goes to the left and back and once it stops moving it will disappear. Once that's done I copy these keyframes and go to the start of the timeline. 10 frames ahead and I paste them for the next slide as well. The keyframes look like this. Alright, I make the other slides visible. I move 10 frames forward and paste the keyframes for the next slide. Again 10 frames ahead, I paste them and I keep doing the same and pasting the keyframes for all of the slides. I hit U so I can see all the keyframes. As you can see the keyframes look like this. Now if I play you can see that the slide showing is done and complete. After that it's time to make a slider. To create a slider control, I select the rounded rectangle tool and double click on it. I open the rectangle under the size, I set the x value to 870 and the y value to 70 so I get this slider. I move it below and change its name. And I add an inner shadow style to it. And I increase the size of the inner shadow slightly. I duplicate this layer and change its name to slider and delete its layer style. Under contents, right here, I set its X and Y to 50. I change the fill color to match the background and set its roundness to 50 so it would be completely circular. And I also apply a drop shadow layer style. Once that's done, to make the position of the slider to be 0, I parent the slider layer to frame layer. As you can see now, its position is 0. Let me increase the roundness of the frame too. To place the slider on the right side of the frame and keep its position at 0, I open the frame and adjust its position like this. Minus 400 should be good. Then I move the frame layer to where it was. Now as you can see the slider position is 0 at the start of the frame and at the end of the frame is minus 800. Well, let's go ahead and connect the slide show to the slider control so that when the slider control is moved the slide show animation will play as well. I select all the slides and hit U so I can see the keyframes. 
At the beginning of the timeline, I create a keyframe for the properties that don't have any keyframe. And I do the same for the end of the animation, so the start and end of the animation would be obvious thanks to the keyframes. Let me make the first layer and the slider solo so I can see the results better. I copy the expression that I need for this rig and paste it for the position of the first slide. Let me expand the box so I can see it better. Right here, I have to define the slider. Since the slider only moves alongside the X axis, I have to parent this line only to X position of the slider. To do that, I right click on the position of the slider and separate it. And then I select this part of the expression and using the pick grip, I define the X position as the slider in the expression. And note that right here, the minimum and maximum of the slider should be noted. The minimum is zero. I've typed zero here. And the maximum, as I said before, is minus 800. I copy the same expression and paste it for the opacity as well. Now once I move the slider, as you can see, the first slide is being controlled by this slider. Well, after that, I copy this expression and paste it for the properties of other slides too. Let me make all the layers visible. Now, as you can see, once I move the slider, the slideshow is being controlled very simple and professional, and now it's easy to animate. To keep the slider in the frame vertically, you can alt click on the Y position of the slider and type 0. And now it doesn't move outside of the frame vertically. And to make it stay in the frame horizontally, I alt click on the X position and use the clamp command. In the parentheses, I type value, which refers to the current value, followed by a comma, then I type the minimum of the slider, again another comma, and the maximum of the slider, which is minus 800. Now, as you can see, the slider doesn't go outside the frame, and it moves exactly within this frame. And now for the animation of the slideshow, you can create keyframes for the X position of the slider. At first, I want the slider to be like that. 10 frames ahead, I want the next slide to come up. I want it to stay like this for 20 frames. For the next slide, I move 7 frames forward and make an anticipation animation like this. Again, 10 frames forwards, and I move the next slide to the center of the scene. I make these two keyframes easy. And to make the animation bouncy and overall better, I add the bounce expression to the X position of the slider. To do that, in the next line, I paste the bounce expression here, and to still have the slider within the frame, I type value equal before the clamp command. And at the end, I add the semicolon so the clamp would be recognized as a variable. Now, as you can see, the slider animation is bouncy, but I think it's a bit too much. I change its frequency and set it to 1. I move these keyframes forward a little bit so the bounce animation of the first slide ends and then the animation of the next slide begins. I think by making the first keyframe easy is the animation will look even better. I think it looks perfect. You can keep animating the rest of the slides just like this. Thanks for watching and good luck.